Hello there, and welcome into the latest edition of the SAU Baseball Coaches Show. I'm Daniel Gallegos, joined alongside head baseball coach Steve Browning. And coach, uh, another you know very successful week for your your baseball program. Um, going back to last weekend, you won uh, yet another Great American Conference Series against Northwestern Oklahoma. Took the first two games, lost the last one, um, but then in midweek action this week, you went a um, rather lengthy trip to, to Union University in Jackson, Tennessee, which came away with two uh, two shutout victories. So overall, a very good, very good trip there. Talk a little bit about your last five games. Well, the you know going back to the weekend, uh, Northwestern. Um, really, I felt like we we survived the weekend. Uh, they very good ball team, and again. Like I said before, every weekend is is a challenge in this conference, which is what we like about it. But um, you know, did were able to put together a couple wins there. Uh, you know, didn't end the series the way we wanted to. Um, you know, pitching got us in a little bit of trouble there in a couple of games, and then just offensively kind of sputtered at times. But you know, it's going to happen. It's still kind of early in the year, and you're still you know still searching for things. And but um, you know, fortunate enough, like I said, to get out of there with our second straight conference um, you know victory. Uh, Going into Union, it was a six-hour bus, you know, that's a long bus ride for a midweek game, but uh, two huge, you know, regional games for us, and went up there and, and was able to throw a couple, you know, uh, Colton Strother, and who hadn't had very many innings, innings for us this year, and gave us a great outing, and, and then, uh, you know, with Yumezo Nsaki game two going to shut out, so it was great to see that because, you know, this time of year, we're, we're still, we're still searching for um, some pitching, and uh, I think we all know at the end of the year, you got to have a game four and a game five guy, and so it was good to get, see what we saw of our pitching staff you know, over at Union, and hopefully the you know the two wins there, the pitching that we had, and the offense that did show up on Tuesday will kind of propel us into this weekend coming up. Yeah, you know the, this upcoming weekend, yet you know we talked about it, yet another um, not easy Great American Conference matchup. This time you guys will take on Washita Baptist at home. One of the things that makes Washita Baptist uh, so dangerous and tough, um, particularly. And likely that game one is they'll throw out Davis Ward, last year's Great American Conference Pitcher of the Year. Started off the year with a couple of uh, incredible performances against ranked teams. So he's more or less their guy in terms of the pitching staff. So he always gives them a chance to win. But the other people they brought in um, alongside him also give him a chance to win. Uh, so talk a little bit, first of all, about that matchup against Ward and then overall for that series. Well, I, I, you know, yeah, Davis Ward's been, you know, he's kind of been a thorn in our side for a couple years. And, uh, 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 there'll be a lot of teams happy to see him when his career is over at Washita. And I know Coach Hayworth won't be, but um, you know I think it's like any other weekend. It doesn't matter who you're facing. We've got to go out there. And we got to do what we're capable of doing. You know our pitchers got to get off to a good start and throw strikes for us and keep us close and you know give our offense a chance to to, um, to execute. And I think that'll be the big key for us is in a game like when you were playing a guy like you know facing a guy like Davis Ward, you just you can't miss opportunities. And uh, you know the the game of baseball will present opportunities to you throughout the game, whether it be a runner at second, you need to get him over, or a runner at third, less than two outs, and get him in. Uh, the key is just don't miss those opportunities because you might not get many of them. And uh, but I think it's that way with any pitcher. And um, you know yeah, Washita, you know they. Opened up, had a great opening weekend, and you know things didn't go their way last weekend. So, uh, you know they'll be ready to go. You know they'll come over here. Uh, Coach Hayworth will have his team ready to go this weekend, and it ought to be fun, exciting, and hopefully we we'll get some good weather and come out there with about three victories. It'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, the, the Mill Rider baseball team uh, still nationally ranked among all the, all the baseball polls now, up in the top ten in all four of the the main polls that, that do Division II baseball. And so yet another big weekend on tap for the Mule Rider baseball team again, taking on Washita Baptist, a three-game series. Game one will be a Friday, normal Friday night um, at Walker Stadium, so that should be a lot of fun to catch some, some night baseball, as you said, hopefully get some, some decent weather for that night game. And then the doubleheader on Saturday against Washita. Coach, best of luck. Thanks.